All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing oh so well, and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video. And I'm going to be talking about two things. The first being N'Golo Kante, the World Cup winning Frenchman, the world class midfielder that resides at Chelsea, is going to continue residing at Chelsea. There was speculation of his exit, and I've talked about the potentiality of him leaving Chelsea and what that would mean for the club. But he was recently asked about this and he put all the rumours to bed. I will also be talking about Milinkovic Savage and how Chelsea apparently are heavily linked to him and allegedly he's top of Frank Lampard's transfer list. I'm going to be talking about that and what that means and does it make sense, etc, etc. Before I get into today's video, a quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you have not yet done so. Click the bell notifications icon and you can like the video if you want to help me out. Let's get into the content. Allez, je commence avec N'Golo Kante. I'm going to start with Kante. Now, apparently Zinedine Zidane is a huge fan of Kante's, understandably. I think everyone in world football is a huge fan of Kante. And unsurprisingly, he wanted to bring him to Real Madrid. Any big club in the world that needs a destroyer, box-to-box -box midfielder, the best interceptive midfielder in the world, everyone's gonna want N'Golo Kante. And although he's not at the prime age for investment, he's still worth so so much. Now you could look at when Chelsea got him, how old was he, like 25? He was basically the perfect age. He was experienced, he was seasoned, he was talented, and Chelsea got him for like 30 million pounds, which is nuts considering how good he is and how good he's been since then. So, since winning a Premier League, an FA Cup, a Europa League, a World Cup, PFA Player of the Year, Football Writers Player of the Year, EA Sports Player of the Year. The list literally goes on with N'Golo Kante. There's so many more individual awards. You can understand why every European superpower would want this player. Now, it's been long speculated that N'Golo Kante might indeed leave Chelsea, maybe to go back to Paris where he grew up, or maybe Real Madrid because that's quite alluring. Everyone suspected, wait, this is N'Golo Kante. He would never push for a move. But maybe, maybe he secretly fancies it. He's won the Premier League, he has a chance to go and do something else. But Kante put all these rumours, speculations and stuff to bed when he spoke to Telefoot recently. Or Telefoot. That sounds Italian. Telefoot. More French? A French broadcaster. Kante was asked if he could finish his career at Chelsea. And he said, of course. Today I'm with Chelsea until 2023. So in my head, I hope to continue and have great seasons with Chelsea until 2023. Kante was then asked, could he see himself playing in other leagues? And he says, no, not really. If he regrets joining Leicester City over Marseille in 2015. Of course not. When I arrived at Chelsea, I was at Leicester and I just won my first title with the club. Today at Chelsea, I have three wonderful years winning titles. I think that is a club that has helped me a lot and I hope that we'll be able to win a lot more titles here. The year at Leicester was magnificent and I did not regret not joining Marseille at all. Sounds superb, right? Kante's pretty much been asked directly from an interviewer about playing in another league, retiring at Chelsea, any regrets coming to the Premier League in the first place. And he's essentially said, no, no regrets. It's been awesome in the Premier League. I loved it at Leicester. I love it at Chelsea. I don't want to leave Chelsea. Everything's great. It's one of those rare occasions where, as a Chelsea fan, you know all your players love playing for the club and playing for the coach at the moment in an attacking, fun style. So usually when all your top players go away on international duty, you're freaking out going, oh, they're going to flirt with Real Madrid or they're going to say, yeah, I might sign a new contract. But to be honest, everyone wants to play for Chelsea right now. And if they don't, it doesn't matter because the talent and everything that's good about Chelsea is spread across the squad. You're no longer like worrying about one player. So it's pretty darn good to be a Chelsea fan at the moment. So great news for Kante. Hopefully his injury gets completely better and they're careful with his rehabilitation so he doesn't have any more recurring injuries essentially. And yeah, maybe he does retire at Chelsea. He plays for a few more years and superb scenes. And he'll have a big banner in the shed before before long and everything will be great. Right, let's move on to the next story about Milinkovic Savic, the Lazio midfielder from Serbia. The stories and the tabloids and the broadsheets and all the news media outlets generally won't stop talking about if this transfer ban is lifted in January for Frank Lampard. Obviously a huge talking point. He's already indicated that he would be interested in bolstering the squad, but Loads of people are speculating whether this would be a dangerous thing generally because the form and the feel-good factor is so good at Chelsea right now that we, even if you bring in someone really talented with a good professional work ethic, 
can that damage what's good at Chelsea right now? It's got to be a risk, right? Plus, obviously, the financial risk of a big financial outlay. But the truth is, Chelsea have money to spend, so you could understand the links and potential interest. Chelsea might slightly be thinking, are we in a title race here? Oh god, we might be. Let's buy in some amazing players for Frank. Personally, I think that might be a bit too ambitious, but still, I can understand how they might fancy their chances in getting far in the Champions League, or just maybe finishing as high the table as they can. Personally, I understand links to Ben Chilwell more, and maybe a really, really top tier winger, more so than a midfielder. So, I am raising my eyebrows slightly. There it is to this link with Milinkovic Savage. I mean, he's really highly rated, he's 24 years old, he's, you know, a really talented player, but apparently he'd also come with a price tag that would probably see Chelsea break their transfer record. Now, if Chelsea buy any decent player, especially in the January window, which absolutely milks you, I can imagine it will be breaking their transfer record just because of how the current footballing financial climate is at the moment. So he might be something like £84 million, you know, was the rumoured figure. Lazio might fancy cashing in on him as he hasn't probably been at his best recently, but he still has five goal involvements in Serie A this season. And on top of those five goal involvements, he's got three Man of the Match awards, which is pretty telling. So he's an attacking sort of central midfielder. Did Chelsea need that? Well, the short answer is no. No, Chelsea are flush for midfielders. Out of the top six, they're probably the most comfortable team in terms of rotational midfielders. They've got Jorginho, Kovacic, Kante, all top, top class players. But then obviously, of course, they've got Mason Mount and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Even players like Billy Gilmore are coming through now and wanting to start. Oh yeah, Ross Barkley. What about if Tino Andrin wants to get into the side as well? So there's plenty. And it doesn't really make sense, although let's think about it a little bit more. If Milinkovic Savage is a player that does something that Frank Lampard really likes, that he thinks will work really in the Premier League, Theoretically, you could think, all right, well, there's rumours Barkley might be leaving Chelsea because they could probably make a few quid on Barkley. They bought him for £15 million. You imagine they'd flip him for like £30 million. He's a full England international and he's still a good age. Chelsea would be rubbing their hands together and the profit they can make on Ross Barkley. So theoretically, if Barkley leaves, you can imagine they'd get people off the books like Bakayoko, and you can imagine drink water. So suddenly, that's three people that have been around, you know, the the squad, quite a lot, are gone. Does that mean you bring in Milinkovic Savage? What does that mean for Mason Mount? Because Mason Mount's the boy, he's the attacking midfielder, he's Frank Lampard's protege. And remember, Ruben Loftus-Cheek's got to come in too. So I get it, if there's a lot of people going out, you might want to bring one high class one in, but at the same time, what about the youth? To be honest, Frank Lampard's got a lot right so far, and if these rumours are true that he really does want this player, you've got to kind of trust him and be like, it's a midfielder, Frank Lampard was like the best midfielder ever, and he's doing things right at the club right now, maybe trust him, maybe he sees something that he did well in Milinkovic Savage, he sees he's a good age, and he wants to play him in a certain way, maybe you can see him coming out wider than going inside, it might fit his game plan, I don't know, we can only but speculate, obviously he's a sort of top tier target in European football, Milinkovic Savage, he has been for a couple of years now, so it would be a good signing I guess, but it's just a bit of a peculiar one. Personally, Hakim Ziyech or, you know, Jaden Sancho, I know it's a bit of a pipe dream, these kind of players, they'd make more sense in my opinion, especially considering how many midfielders Chelsea have and maybe one's coming through as well. But anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments below, do you think this would be a silly signing for Chelsea Football Club? Are you a fan of the player? Do you think there's a place for him if Chelsea do indeed get rid of Drinkwater, Barkley, uh, Bakayoko, etc? I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Get down in the comments below. Also, what do you think of Kante? Do you think Kante can retire at Chelsea? That would be a lovely story. You know, this has been a very midfielder orientated video. Also, remember to subscribe to my sister channel, Yan Plays. I'll put a link down in the description and you can just YouTube Yan plays and I'm there. I play all sorts of video games. I've started playing Resident Evil. I've also been playing a lot of FIFA. Go check it out and make sure you do join the Discord server via Patreon because one dollar, the Football Therapy Discord server where we constantly talk about football. Also, follow me on social media at Football Yannick on Instagram and Twitter. I think I'm done for plug, so you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. I'm
super soldier. Got my hood diploma, shout it, bend it over. Shout it, bend it over. Never lied about a thing, but there's some things I never told you. Flow is dope as coke and weed. I'm rolling with La Cosa Nostra. Mind your business, tell them mind your business. Not religious, so don't ever cross me like a line of scrimmage. It's not a gimmick, every single day I live it. Money don't sleep, got it painted by the minute. Money come.